AB Calculus, section 5.3, page 4 of 4. Last problem here for this section. And we are going to find the average value of the sine function on the interval from 0 to pi, find the value of x where that average value occurs, and finally sketch a diagram that demonstrates this information. All right, average value by definition is the integral from a to b of f of x dx divided by b minus a. As it relates to this problem then, this average value is the integral from 0 to pi of the sine function dx divided by the length of the interval, which is pi minus 0. All right, well clearly the denominator is pi, and this one right here, the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx, you can't do that one by hand yet. That one is fnint on your calculator for now. A little while from now, you'll be able to do that by hand, but right now, you just need to go to your calculator, and if you do that, I will trust that you know how to do that on your calculator. If you don't, please see your teacher. That's 2. And then a decimal approximation for this is approximately 0.637. That is the average value. Average value is a y value. It's a height. It is if you could add up all of the heights on the sine curve between 0 and pi and divide by that infinite number of heights, what height would you get? What average would you get? And it would be 0.637. All right, so first part, find the average value of the sine function. Got it. Find the value of x where that average value occurs. All right, this is a y value. Remember, it's a height. So for the next part where it says... Find the value of x where the average value occurs. That's we want to know where f of x is equal to 2 over pi. Well, that's where is sine x equal to 2 over pi. Using your pre-calculus, then, you're going to have to do an inverse. Inverse sine of 2 over pi. Uh, make sure your calculator is set in radians. And then let's do inverse sine of 2 divided by pi and we get 0 0.690. And that's it, that's the x value where this average value occurs. The last bit, sketch a diagram that demonstrates this information. So, let's graph y equals sine x between zero and pi. And here's pi over 2, here's pi, there's 1, and I am making this greatly enlarged just so we can see everything that we need to see. And to graph y equals sine x, sine hits at 0, 0, pi over 2, the sine is 1, and at pi, the sine is back to 0.
And there's y equals sine x on the intervals from 0 to pi. Remember, sine has a period of 2 pi, so we're only seeing half of this sine curve. All right, now, the area underneath sine x is this on that interval from 0 to pi. refresh your memory, pi about 3.14, pi over 2 about 1.57. All right, x is at 0 0.690. All right, 1.57, which means like 1 is about there, 0 0.5 is about there, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, so maybe right there is 0 0.690. Line that up to where that hits the function. That height, then, on this same interval from 0 to pi, so here would be the average value, 0 0.637. That's pretty close. Um, 0.5 is probably right about there. So 0.637, that's, that's pretty darn close. That is the average value. And if you look, the area underneath this rectangle from 0 to pi with a height 0.637, the area under that rectangle is exactly the same as the area underneath y equals sine x from 0 to pi. And it absolutely looks like that this piece right here and this piece over here could fill in this bit up there. All right, let's just kind of go back and confirm a few more things here. So there's your diagram, but looking at this rectangle, area is length times width. Okay, how long is this? That's pi, or base times height, times its height. This was 2 over pi, and that area is 2. What's the area under f of x? That's the integral from 0 to pi of f of x. Oops! What was our function? Sine x. And that is 2. Okay, hopefully that irons out some things for you. That wraps up the notes. Please make sure that you get this homework done ASAP.